Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Karina and this video I am going to be memory planning for a week in 2020. It is currently October of 2023 and I am committed to finishing the year 2020. So memory planning for me is a journey. Uh, it doesn't matter how far behind you are, whatever week you're in, don't get discouraged. Take your time and enjoy the process. That's what I'm telling myself. So here are the supplies that I'm going to be using. These are all Happy Planner sticker books. These are just scripts that I'm going to probably be pulling from. I'm going to try and use a gold foil throughout the spread if I can. Uh, here are the Stick Babe Essentials. These are actually two of the Stick Babe books. I separated one and stuck it with my other Stick Babe Girl book and then I just used these little rings to put through the hole to make it just one big sticker book versus having, you know, multiple books. Anyway, so I think I'm going to use some of the girls and she has some highlights, some gold highlight on there that can pull nicely with my gold script. So we'll see how that lays down. And then I'm going with the Garden Flowers. This book is from 2021, so it's a couple years old. I think I'm going to go for this April kind of spring vibe. These flowers just kind of scream April to me. So I don't know what sheets I'm going to be using. It's going to be the main sticker book that I'm going to use for my spread. I also pulled two washies. They are both from Simply Gilded. One is a scallop with a like uh, light baby pink and then a simple line with a beige color to it. So I thought that could be helpful in co covering up some of the green on this page. So those are my supplies. Here are my pictures that I've printed out. Nothing special. I just send them to CVS and yeah, those are just the pictures I'm going to be using. And for the actual spread here, I'm going to start by covering up all the pre-printed color with my sticker paper. So let me get that covered up and then I'll have a blank canvas and I will be back. Okay, I have covered up the pre-printed green color, which I'm not going to use, again, just with sticker paper. Next, I'm going to try and cover up these green borders with, I think I'm going to put the scallops on top and then the simple line in the middle and then the scallops on the bottom. So let me do that next. Okay, I'm going to be pulling numbers out of the Happy Planner Memory Keeping Hook, and I'm just going to be basic with my numbers and use just the black numbers here. So let me get those put down. Now, the reason I use my tweezers to lay down some of my stickers, I promise it's not to be extra. It really does give me better control of placement versus my fingers because sometimes my fingers get in the way of what I'm trying to line up the sticker with. So yeah, I, the tweezers just give me better control and better placement. So that's that and they're really dirty. But anyway, Okay, so we got the numbers and I need a date. So let me find something that says April. This is my sticker book that holds a lot of my days of the week, months, and numbers. So I want something that's going to go with, it's either can be gold or it has to go with this color. So I could go with just a black font, uh, which I think I might. I might just go with, do I have April? I have one April. These are from My Planning Addictions, and I'm going to use this April sticker right here. I'm not going to place it down. I'm just, this is the one that I have uh, selected. So here is the majority of when I took my pictures. So now I know what dates are going to have the most pictures. Also, in, if you're wondering, how do I know what I did this week of April of 2020? <laughs> I'm also a bullet journal. I journal almost every day and I write it down. So I'm gonna be referencing my journal from 2020. Okay, so Monday looks like it was a good old fashioned Monday. So put that there. That's me with my two girls. <laughs> my husband's gonna kill me, but my daughter did his hair. He was working from home. Yeah, these are just like random shots. These are, these are keeping it real shots. Looks like we went to the park. 
the parks were closed and this picture of my daughter is so, well, it's not funny, but she was devastated. She was devastated that she couldn't get on the playground. She was five. Yeah, she was five uh, at the time of the pandemic. So uh, yeah, so this is what we're working with. I have always struggled with where to place stickers. I always like everything very cohesive in the box straight. Yeah, but I'm going to, like always, try to force myself to not do that and get crazy, get real crazy here. I want something, like I want a really big sticker. I think I'm gonna use these clear ones. I'm gonna use, yeah, I think I'm gonna use these. And I'm just gonna pull them out so I know that these are, I'm committed. I'm committed to these stickers. I'm gonna start with these florals. And I'm going to start just putting them down, kind of like cascading down is how I saw this happening. I just cleaned up the stickers that I put in my sidebar and now I'm ready. I'm ready to put down the memory. So I'm not gonna use any boxes. I think I'm going to draw lines with my Happy Planner, check it off like line grid that you can use. I don't know if they make this anymore, but I got it off of the Happy Planner website. And I think I'm gonna use the lines to journal in the memory. I'm using the Tombow Permanent Adhesive and I'm going to set this photo right down in the morning because it's a morning photo. And I can already tell you, I remember this time, my baby was teething and it was a horrible time. <laughs> we were all so tired, so, so tired. So let me cut this down. This is just, it's just keeping it real. I try to stay true to the date that the photo was taken, but sometimes I will set it to the side close by the date. Sometimes it's just what you have to do to get the photos in. Okay, two photos down. Two days down and a whole bunch more to go. This day was a lot and I'm kind of regretting that maybe I need boxes, but I'm gonna try and say no. This day, my grandma, who was 90 plus, she was in the hospital and she finally got to come home, which was a great day. I should use this I need coffee. I need coffee sticker. The mornings were tough. The mornings were very tough during the pandemic. Um, we had two kids, two young kids at home. Although I'm, I'm grateful that our kids were young because we didn't have to go through uh, Zoom calls and being away from their friends. They didn't really have many friends. I mean, my daughter was, my oldest was five and my youngest was a little over a year. So I'm looking for a coffee or some kind of tired mom. <laughs> oh, right here. Okay, I could use this little happy stick girl. Stick babe. We'll put her here and put this here. So this pink is not spot on. I mean, there's pink here, so I'm kind of banking on this pink, pulling in the pink that I'm choosing to go with as like a little highlight. I just use a Energel Pentel 0.5 pen to memory plan in. So I feel like I'm gonna write down my memory and then I can move on to placing more photos onto the spread. And then the other memory I want to make sure that I put down is I tried a new cookbook. It's called Thug Kitchen. I got it from my sister-in-law and I made a vegetarian black bean torta. So I want to make sure I have some kind of like cooking stick girl. I think because I, st I started with a big stick girl, I need to stick with big stick girls. So most of them are a bigger size, but then you do have smaller ones in here that I don't think I can pick from like these girls. So here is my struggle. I can either use her because she has groceries and she's more like a uh, monotone, like there's a little bit of color, but it won't clash too much with my flowers. Or I can use her she has some blue, but I don't have blue in my spread. So I don't know which one I should use. 
You know, I think I'm going to go with the Grocery Girl because she doesn't have the blue in her and it won't clash as much with the red that I have in the spread. So I'm going to put her down kind of like right here. And I am going to use my lines for some just to have, you know, so I'm not writing downhill. But I think I'm going to erase them once I get the memory written down. So I'm going to go very light I don't know if I need that. Okay. Tuesday. I still don't have any photos for Tuesday. I have three, four. Oh, wait. I have one more here. The 29th. I have four. I think I'll use these. And let me get those glued down. I feel like I need more flowers in these two boxes to even out the flowers explosion going on over here. Put those down and these down. Okay. And let me just clean up the pieces that are hanging over onto my border. Okay, I cleaned up the stickers that were kind of creeping into the uh, box. So hopefully that looks a little better. And now I'm gonna continue on putting in my memories. Tuesday, let me go ahead and fill in this memory. So I'm gonna jump around a little bit in the memory. And I played a lot of Animal Crossing, but I usually play in the evening time. So let me grab a Animal Crossing sticker. I have these Animal Crossing stickers that I got from Sticky Sloth Designs. I am devastated that she is not open right now. I don't know if she will open again, but she has the best foil stickers. She'll do custom um, scripts, but like I said, her shop isn't open right now. But anyway, I'm going to be using one of her stickers and I have it in a gold, even though the gold doesn't match exactly, it's still gold and I think it'll pull in nicely. So Animal Crossing, who wasn't playing Animal Crossing during the pandemic? I feel like it was the thing to do. Also, I had posted a YouTube video, so I wonder if I have a YouTube video sticker. So here are some stickers that I have from Sarah Elizabeth Prince, and I'm going to use the gold foil set. Kind of seems empty right here, but we're just gonna go with it. Like sometimes I work my way backwards and sometimes I work my way from the end of the week to the beginning of the week. Don't ask me why. I have problems with information and processing information. So sometimes it's just <laughs> easier for me to start backwards and work my way forwards. So there you go. Okay, so Tuesday morning, I FaceTimed with my mom and my dad, but I also made mimosas because it was the pandemic. So I started with mimosas to forget what was going on in the world. You know, I was just trying to find any kind of silliness in it and a Tuesday in the morning, mid-morning, okay? We're not talking like 8 a.m. This was 2 p.m. I made mimosas, so it's not... <laughs> like I was waking up and drinking. That time has definitely passed. But the pandemic, I mean, I just feel like it was just, you know, the happy hours, the virtual happy hours. They were happening. They were happening with a lot of my family and my friends. And it was it was the way that we were all connecting without having the ability to physically, you know, connect with each other. So I'm looking for something that has a drink in it, a celebration. Uh, I would like to use something with a gold foil. Okay, I can't find a stick girl with any kind of cocktail. So I'm going to use her, the darker pink versus the light beige. Yeah, because I feel like she'll be consistent with this pink girl. So we're gonna use her. She has a little bit of green in her bandana. I'm gonna put her up, where am I gonna put her? I also found these, we're going to call them mimosa drinks. These are from Happy Planner as well. I um, guess I'll put her here. And then I'm going to put this there. 
Was there important stuff going on? Probably in some way, maybe with the school or my husband's job. I don't, probably. And what am I going to remember? 2 p.m. mimosas. And maybe I can put in a script. Should I start using orange? Because I have a yes. Okay, we are getting there. First half of the week is almost done. I still have this April sticker that I do not want to forget to put down. And I think I'm just going to set it like right here. April. That's a lot. It's a lot going on there. But we are rolling with it. Wednesday, the 29th. Um, Layla still sick with a fever. She was teething. Ugh. Maybe that's what I want. Ugh. Uh, teething. Layla teething. I think I'm going to use this gold script that says, ugh. See, again, this is why I use tweezers because I can never see exactly the placement of the sticker with my fingers. Sit right here. Say Layla teething. First week is done. Uh, let's move on to the second week. Okay, here we are. Second week. Uh, let's see. We are going to lay down my photos again. Four thirty. Okay. This is definitely park closed. My daughter devastated. This is how our mornings. <laughs> that was that was pandemic life right there. Um, this photo cracks me up. Like she's pondering why life is the way it is. Uh, I don't know if you can see her over on the bench, but she didn't want to be disturbed. She was so depressed that the parks were closed. So uh, sometimes you just got to roll with the punches. That's what I kept telling her. It's just gotta roll with the punches. Maybe I do that. That doesn't leave me a lot of memory space. Maybe I won't use this one. This crazy one of me and my family. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do this. Okay, let me get these laid down. Now I want to put more floral in here. Let's get started. Let's lay some floral down. Not really saying much here because it's not, we're just putting in the flowers, just cleaning up it, creeping into the box. And then up here, I'm just gonna keep putting in some flowers, like so. Fill in this top area, super cute. Cut this down. Okay, let me grab this sheet, see if that's cohesive. Um, I think maybe. Put some more little stickers in here on this side. And this one I wanna use, I just don't know where to put this beautiful gem. Plus I move this one that I can put this one kind of like that. It's pretty. It's pretty. And I'm cutting very softly so I don't go through the page. Just FYI. I feel like we need to put it here and then like that and put this one in like here like that okay we're what do you think i think we're filled in we're, we're pretty filled in okay now the memory let's go back to our stick girls okay i got three stick girls right here i'm gonna put her here here i'm gonna write down parks were closed and then here I'm gonna say uh, we had micheladas. So 
And I want something that says, uh, the struggle, I have bad day, stressed. You know what, I think I'm gonna use stressed. My little girl was such a fussy baby. My youngest, she just was such a uh, fussy, fussy baby. And she just cried all day. Here, I'm gonna write in parks closed. And then the good thing is my husband made us drinks. I think that's all he knew how to do <laughs> to help me, just to help me. And I'm going to put her more in the middle to fill up this space. Okay, we are on to the weekend. I think I might put this picture in because I mean, this, this was happening. This is what I think of when I think of the pandemic. I think of all of us in the bed uh, struggling <laughs> with a baby and uh, stuck inside, no school, everything's different. And I'm just gonna embrace it and remember, cut this down a little bit. Um, this was good news. My daughter did start sleeping better during the end of the week. I do have that as a memory. Let me write that down. That was a big deal. I remember she slept a long time and she probably needed it because she was sick or teething. Like I kept saying, it was just this week was, whew, all my notes were like, I'm not sleeping. No one's sleeping. Layla's not sleeping. So she slept. Sunday, let me find out what we did on Sunday. The highlight of Sunday was margaritas. I'm just being honest. So I have this little cup. It's green, but I think it'll fit in with this green, this neon green down here. And then I have cheers and a happy hour. And I'm just gonna write margarita because it was the end of the week. And that's my justification. Uh, we drank a lot this week. <laughs> Again, pandemic time. I feel like I need a couple more flowers somewhere. I still have these kind of like solo flowers I could use. Or is it too much? You know what? I might be done. I might be done as I put more flowers in. I feel like down here is a little empty, like this area. I think I might put this gold down here to fill it in a little bit. Maybe make it cleaner. Do it there and I'll do it up here or over here. So let me get my Happy Planner punch and let me get the holes put back in here. This is the big Happy Planner punch. And I'm just going to line this up. Okay, so April, 2020, we're gonna get there. We're going to finish 2020, I promise. Everything I can do, I will be finishing 2020. So let me get this, these pages put back into my planner. And thank you guys, as always, for watching and being on this journey with me. I would love if you would comment. If you are a memory planner or a scrapbooker, let me know what month or year you were on. If anyone says that they are planning 2019, I'm going to give you a big applause because good for you. Oh, and I didn't fill in margarita, so let me get that done. Okay, so there is the spread, April of 2020. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being on the journey with me. I hope to see you guys soon, and I would love any comments or just uh, please like, please subscribe, and until next time, we will see you guys soon. Have a good one, and be well. Bye-bye.